And today I am going to be walking through the Kanban board in both Google Sheets and Excel. If you have already purchased this template, first of all, thank you so much for your order. I really appreciate you supporting my business and I hope this tool is really helpful for you. But if you stumbled across this Kanban video and you wanna purchase a template, um, go ahead and check out the comments below. I have a link to the listing on my Etsy shop and feel free to purchase it and follow along as well. Um, in this video, I do have the Google Sheets version up and running. However, it's also available in Excel. So feel free to follow along in either platform the functionality and everything is the same across both, which is really nice. So when you open up the template, this is going to be the first screen that you see. It, it's basically going to be where you add all of your tasks. So I have quite a bit of tasks in here simply to give you almost like a live demo. Um, but feel free when you hop in here to clear some of these out. You can you know, just kind of select this right here and you can clear those out. You can also change the priority for your tasks of high, medium and low. And then each task you can assign to a task category, which is really neat. So the, the whole purpose of this Kanban board and task tracker is for you to be able to track tasks throughout your entire life, not just one portion of your life. So I have categories like business and finance and health, house, personal, relationships, spiritual, work, basically every different aspect of your life you can track right here. The status column is going to be the status of your task. So you can change this to backlogged or not started, in progress, in review, completed, or canceled. Go ahead and add a start and due date in these columns here. And then last but not least is notes. If you need more space, if you have a lot of notes, feel free to extend the width of the column as well. So your first step is going to be add in all your tasks that you can think of, populate everything across the board. Once you're in a good spot, then you're going to hop over to the Kanban board task category, the second tab at the bottom. This is really neat. So this is going to show you all of your tasks organized by this status right here. So you're going to see these six options right here are going to reflect six across your screen right here. And it's going to show you your exact tasks, the due date and the priority for each of the statuses. What's really neat too is it's organized by your task category. So if you want to see everything for business, you can just use this little drop down up here, change it to business, change it to finance, health, and you can really start to zero in on what do you have going on in each of the task categories, which is really nice. The priority column, it automatically is going to color coordinate these for you. Um, so no need to do, do any formatting there. So this, this is the first view. The second view though, if you don't necessarily want to just see everything by one category and you more so wanna see everything by every category, um, you're gonna to wanna to hit the can be on board view all right here. And let me just zoom out just so you can see everything. <clears throat> Let me zoom in just a, just a little bit here. Let's see if 90% is good. Okay, <laughs> so this is basically going to show you all of your tasks across the board. So it's going to show you, if you scroll up here, um, all of your task names. Your task category is just going to be a column as opposed to a drop-down menu at the top. Your due date, your priority, and everything here. And then they're all organized um, by the status categories as well. So this is a really nice view. If you want to see everything that you're working on across your whole life, <laughs> this is a really good view. And if you want to see things by category, um, this is a really good view for you as well. So that's an overview of the task tracker. Um, feel free to start populating. I hope this is really helpful for you. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.